Hello friends, today, let's explore the Kali Linux 2021.3. This is the third stable snapshot of Kali Linux in 2021. Kali Linux, formerly known as Backtrack, is a Debian, testing, based GNU slash Linux distribution designed for digital forensic and penetration testing. First, let's go through the salient features of Kali Linux 2021.3. The OpenSSL in Kali 2021.3 enables communication with systems using older protocols such as TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1 and other legacy ciphers. This will help Kali users to target a wide range of machines. And give the opportunity to attack machines having older protocols and algorithms. This option can be disabled or enabled from the Kali tweaks in the command line. Kali Linux is now more optimized to work on virtual machines. It allows easy copy and pastes between guest and host machines. Also, from Kali tweaks, users can now enable Hyper-V session enhanced mode. Kali Linux automatically identifies the virtual box environment and enables the virtualization environment. Following the footsteps of Kali Docs, Kali Tools has had a complete refresh. Kali Tools has refreshed every aspect of the previous site, giving a new, faster, layout, content, and system. The backend is now in a semi-automated state and more in the open, which like before, allows for anyone to help out and contribute. Once this is mature enough, it will be included in the Kali releases for the offline access. As in every release, Kali Linux 2021.3 introduces more tools in the repositories. These tools include, Beer 8 app for orchestrating monorogue Wi-Fi access points, Caldera, a scalable automated adversary emulation platform, EAP Hammer, a targeted evil twin attacks against WPA2 enterprise Wi-Fi networks, Host Hunter, a recon tool for discovering host names using OSINT techniques, Router Key Gen PC to generate default WPA, WEP Wi-Fi keys, Subject for Subdomain Takeover, WPA Sycophant, an evil client portion of EAP Relay Attack. With Kali Linux 2021.3, the team also introduced the world's first Kali NetHunter smartwatch, the Tick Hunter Pro. It is still experimental, hence the features are limited to USB attacks, and some basic functions. The hardware also has limitations, as such a small battery won't supply enough voltage for any OTG adapters, so huge antennas won't stick out of your wrist. Now we are done with new features in Kali Linux 2021.3. So, let's have a quick run through. <laughs> 